The objective is to divide three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors, resulting in two digit and three digit quotients. Can we divide six thousands by twenty nine? Not without changing them to sixty two hundreds. Okay, then let's work with sixty two hundreds, which we can divide into twenty nine groups. Divide sixty two hundreds by twenty nine. Show me how to estimate that. So sixty two hundreds by twenty nine, we're looking at divided by thirty. And in this case we're looking at we're looking at sixty hundreds divided by thirty, which equals two hundreds. That's two hundred. So think about that as we are working through our problem and with our actual answer. Go in the hundreds place. Put the two in the hundreds place. Two times twenty-nine is fifty-eight. Sixty-two minus fifty-eight is four. And we regroup that with the four tens. So we have 44 tens that we're dividing by 29, which is 1. That's 15. And then so we have the 1s to bring down. 157 once divided by 29, which is 5. 5 times 9 is 45. 5, regroup of 4. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, and then we can subtract that. So our remainder is 12. Run our check. 9 times 5 is 45. 5, regroup of 4. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13. 3, regroup of 1. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Place a 0 for the 2, because the 2 was worth 20. 2 times 5 is 10, 0, regroup of 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and 2 times 2 is 4. Add those together, we get 6,235, and we add in the remainder of 12 to get 6,247. Here is our next problem, 4,289 divided by 52. We can't divide those 4,000s by 52. We can't divide those 4,200s by 52. What we can divide by 40, 52 is 428 tens. So we're thinking this, we're thinking 428 tens, we can divide that by 52. When we look at our estimate, we're dividing by 50, and in this case, we would look at 400 tens to divide it by 50. 400 tens divided by 50 is 8 tens. So our solution is 8, 8 tens. And so that can be part of our solution as we're working through this problem. 4,289 divided by 52. Start with the 8 there in the tens place. And 8 times 52. 8 times 2 is 16, 6 regroup of 1, and then 8 times 5 is 40. So I subtract those two to get 129, and then so I have 129 ones divided by 52. In which case the answer to that is 2. 2 times 52 is, is 104, and then so our remainder is 25. Run our check. 82 times 52, and then we'll add in the 25. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 8 is 16. Place a 0. 5 times 2 is 10. 0. Regroup a 1. 5 times 8 is 40. Plus 1 is 41. Add those together. I get 4,264. Add in the 25. I get my original dividend, which was 4,289. So the problem checks. OK, it's your turn to try. 3,164 divided by 23. You start with the 3,100s, where it goes in once. 1 times 23 is 23. 
and 31 minus 23 is 8. Bring down the 6. That looks like it would go in 3 times, because 3 times 23 is 69. And do our subtraction there. We come up with 174 when we bring down the 1s. 7 times, that's your final one there, 7 times 3 is 21, 1, regroup a 2, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16, and so our remainder is 13. Did you get that as your answer? Did you run a check? 137 times 23, and we'll add in the 13. 3 times 7 is 21. 1, regroup a 2. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. 1, regroup a 1. 3 times 3, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Place a 0. 2 times 7 is 14, 4, regroup a 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And 2 times 1 is 2. Let's see if we did this right. 3, 1, 5, 1 plus 13 is 3164, which was our original dividend. Remember the answer to a division problem? It's called a quotient. In this case, we have a three-digit quotient. Here's another one that you see here. We can't divide the 6,000s by 63, but we can divide the 6,600s by 63. One whole time. 66 minus 63 is 3. Regroup it to bring down the 4. Can we divide 34 ones by 63? No. Place a 0 there. 0 times 63 is 0. 34 minus 0 is 34. And we regroup it with the 9 ones to get 349 ones divided by 63. That equals 5, because 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 6 is 30, so it's 31. So our remainder is 34. And we can run our check. 3 times 5 is 15, 5, regroup a 1. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, place a 0. 6 times 5 is 30, 0, regroup a 3. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 6 times 1 is 6. Add those together. And add in our remainder to see that the problem does check. So that's how you can divide.